Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to show you how to extract um, data from AutoCAD, right? Good. So we are using the data extraction command on today's video, and we have um, a set of data which we should use for the practice. Now let's say you have this data. These are actually spot tight data, right? Good. And then you are by chance asked to um, determine the XY coordinates of each of these um, Z points. So how do you now get the XY values of these um, elevation data so that each of these elevation data will now match the corresponding what um, XY value, right? Good. So that's what we are going to do. So the first thing is that um, good. So the first thing we are going to do is to type the data extraction command on AutoCAD, which is what DX right. Good, that's a shortcut. So we hit enter. Good. So we have what the data extraction window. Now the first thing is that the wizard extracts object um, data from drawings that can be exported to a table or an external file. Right. Good. So are we um, editing an existing data extraction or we are creating a new one? So we are creating a new one, right? Good. So we just leave it at that. We go to next. Good. So we are saving the DXC file. That, that should be the data extraction file. We are saving it on our folder. Let's call this um, data, right? Good. Or let's see data extraction, right? Good. So let's call it data extraction and you can see the extension is DXC. So we click on save. Good. So um, the data source, that's the source of the data we want to extract. We are actually trying to extract the data we have on our workspace. Now, one thing you need to understand is that if you have different layers, and even though the layers are off, most times the, the information of those layers, yeah, the coordinates or let's say the information of those other off layers are also extracted most times. So if you want to extract just a particular object, it's always better you use the quick select so that you can copy that particular layer, perhaps paste it somewhere else so that you just have that um, that um, particular data and you don't have to mix everything up right good. So because if we, as it is being asked here, the data source, if we say, okay, we are using this particular drawing, it will have to copy or most times it copies what everything like all the layers you have what, on your workspace right good so we have them um, drawings that um, drawing slash um, sheet set right good so include current drawing so let's click on next extraction in progress good so select objects to extract data from most of these will be left default, right? Good. So let's click on next. And then we still go to next. And we have what another extraction going on. Good. At this point, in this view, you can reorder and sort columns, filter results, add them, formula columns, and create them external data. Now, this is just an example, like a preview of what you are going to get. So now let's um, scroll down to our area of interest. Now let's see, we have um, position X, position Y, position Z, right? Good. Now if you look at the Z, you can still see zero. Now remember that when this portal was plotted, it was actually plotted as a text file, right? You know our normal um, script of plotting portal underscore text space is thing comma nothing blah blah blah. So you no, know, the the Z was plotted as what a text so that it can be displayed on this word x and y so it was not really plotted as a z i just want you to understand that's why you can still see your z is still what zero however if maybe you've actually created surface or maybe you want to do something on alignment or any other of our profile work perhaps you are still going to see you are going to see your z value to be anything aside what zero because that would be the z value that was actually imported with what your x and y so i just want to understand why your z is actually zero well, let's still come down to this point. Good. You would see another column called value. 
Now this value now represents what the spot height data that we are actually plotted. These values that you can see on your screen, whose um, x and y we are trying to get right. So I haven't um, shown you that we could have sorted it, but let's just leave everything so that we don't get things mixed up. We can always select what we need and then discard the rest, right? So let's go to next. Now the output option. Select the output types for this um, um, extraction. We need one as um, either Excel, that's um, XLS, CSV, MDB, what TXT, right? Good. So now let's click on this to now navigate to our folder. Good. So we are working on this folder, extract XY from Z, right? Good. So we already have a file name, data extraction.csv. You can decide to use any other um, file extension. I think in CSV, XLS can both be accessed on what? On Excel, you can even work your way around using TXT, but let's just go with what CSV. So we have data extraction.csv. Um, let's just um, add um, SS somewhere there. Good. And we click on save. Then we click on next. Click finish to complete the extraction, right? Good. If you choose the insert table, you will be prompted for your insertion point after you click finish. Any external files to create will be created when clicking when clicking finish right good so remember we created external files so we are going to have the second option because we didn't um, create what table to be inserted so let's click on finish good so now let's navigate to the folder where we would have saved our data and we would assess our data there right good all right you can see data extraction access right good let's open that good so this is the spreadsheet that contains the data we previewed earlier, right? Good. So now let's scroll down to the point where we need, where we have what we need, right? Good. So we have what position X, we have um, position Y. Then let's come down somewhere around there to see what values, right? Good. So we just select these three fields, or let's say yeah, these three column, the position X position y and then the value right good because that actually contains our spot height data we can just copy that control c then we see that trying to create what a new spreadsheet that's control n right good then we can just paste what we have copied that's control v so having done that we've actually sorted and we've extracted and then we've sorted what our data so we have x then we call this um, Y, and then we call this Z. So this should be Z, right? Good. Good. So we have what our X, Y, Z data as it is from what as it is from this particular drawing, right? Good. Now these uh, Z values have actually been attached to X and Y values, right? Good. So if you come down to your AutoCAD drawing. And you randomly list some elevation data, you can trace them to what to their x and y, yeah, to their x and y coordinates from our list. Now, this is made possible, or you know, you are going to use this approach perhaps when you don't have what the x and y, and then you already have the z, or maybe any other approach, or yeah, any other application you can think of that you know can make you extract your data from AutoCAD. Now we have a check. Our check is that we actually have our X and Y data, which we have used to plot the spot height in this particular video. However, we are assuming that you do not have your X and Y data, and it will be someone just sent you the drawing and you want to get the X and Y data for it or something like that, right? So that's why we have what. That's why we have this. So this is the X and Y. Yeah, the X and Y. And, um, alongside the Z that we have extracted. This was the spreadsheet that um, we got from AutoCAD. And this is actually the data that we have used. So for the purpose of, let's just copy this and then paste it on this uh, new data somewhere around the array. So 
we have something like this. So if you are able to sort this data, maybe in form of the ascending or descending or whatever the case is, you should be able to see how each of them are maybe corresponding. Are we together? So thanks for coming to class. We hope that we have been able to show you how to extract what data from AutoCAD right would extract in this in this um, case we have extracted our x and y coordinates that um, is attached to what our z values which was plotted as what as text right group. so we are going to see you on our next video until then keep staying safe and have a very good time bye